Living in a sea pod gives us an opportunity to do things in a different way than we've done on land. And I think what we've done on land, we've actually screwed things up a lot. And so people assume that we're doing the same thing on the water, but we're actually rethinking the entire experience from the ground up. And one thing we want to do is have a minimum impact on the environment. Uh, when you put a sea pod on land, we're actually using such a low, a small footprint and we can actually put a sea pod uh, on land. We call it a green pod, um, land pod. There's you know, various different names, could be mountain pod, treetop pod, but really it only has a two meter footprint. So the entire house has, it only takes up two meters of land and you don't have to cut down trees. You don't have to destroy the environment to, to put up a home. Normally when you put a home on land, you, you clear cut the, wood, the, the, the trees you take the grass out, you, you, know, you basically destroy the environment. Um, then you put your house up and you maybe put a po small potted plant in the corner of the house to bring some nature in the, into the house. But that seems like it's not the right way to do it. So when you put a sea pot up, it's minimum impact on the environment. You just put the a steel post into the ground. It's only two meters diameter. And then you have your house up above all the, the, uh, the, the, all the woods, the trees, the, the environment, and you, then you have these incredible views without having to have a big impact on the environment. I love living in a sea pod because it offers you a lifestyle opportunity you can't get anywhere else. You can wake up in the morning and jump into the water to have a refreshing way to wake up. Uh, you can jump in a kayak, go for a sunrise paddle. Uh, you can do yoga on the roof or on the patio uh, or on the, the deck on the, on the um, entrance level. And there's, there's so many new opportunities for, for living that people just don't have access to uh, in a normal house. And it's a different way of, uh, it's a different way of thinking and uh, we're really innovating this whole new lifestyle. So we haven't really, we don't know what the full lifestyle is going to be. This is evolving and in five or 10 years from now, it's, we're probably going to have a whole new way of living um, that's going to, I think, be so different from living on land that people are going to be slowly pulled over to our side. <laughs> they'll, they'll just, they'll, once, you, once you start living like this, you don't want to go back to living on land. We've gone through four iterations now of energy use on sea pods, or four generations of sea pods, and we've iterated every time. We've tried to make it better. The original one had a uh, flat roof that uh, had panels on it, and it was really unattractive, but it, it worked. It did the job. It gave us enough power to operate things in the, in the pod. Um, this pod here, we have a lot more panels because we have a lot more, you know, this is actually meant to live in. Um, so this is, this has a lot of panels and they're on the outside spars. So there's, we have three outside spars and we have two of those spars that are dedicated to solar panels. Um, but it doesn't, uh, it doesn't fit what, where we want to go. We want to actually integrate the solar into the house. We want to integrate all the energy, con uh, energy production into the actual design of the house. So the next version of this is designed so the panels are on the roof and designed so that they fit in fairly well. And then we've already designed the version after that that is going into production pretty soon where the panels are actually built right in, into the, the roof themselves. So it's very, it's a, it's a steady progression from, from like five, six years ago to where we are now where it's getting more and more built into the actual structure of the, of the pod. Uh, we're also looking at uh, we've looked at um, wave power and generating power from the water because that just seems like a no-brainer because we're living on the water, there's always waves, there's always current, so can we use that to generate power? And really, there's, it's, it's hard to do that at scale where there's enough generation to, to use, make useful power. Um, we were looking at a device that was maybe like the size of a basketball that would produce four watts of power, which you know, we, need, we need a lot more than that. Um, to, to keep the pod going. So we, we looked at different systems, but they just get very expensive, and there's no system right now that, that makes sense for us. Uh, so we're also looking at wind power. Wind power does make sense. Uh, we just have to find a way to integrate it into the pod so it, um, so it looks right. And it, 
is we don't we don't want to have a big loud wind turbine on the, on the roof that is maybe a danger to birds. So we're, we're trying to integrate it into the pod in a way that um, we, we do have some designs that are pretty interesting that would actually be built right into the roof. And um, so that that could be that could be very interesting. That, that that's probably going to be like two or three more generations in the future. But the, the possibilities are pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, we track our energy consumption on tablets throughout the house or on your mobile phone. There's, um, there's, uh, we have eight different tracking systems on different appliances throughout the house. So we're trying to measure the, the most energy intensive appliances and make sure that they're in line with, you know, with what we, what we have available. And we want to make sure we don't run out of power in a day. Like this morning, I woke up and there's 61.9% energy in the batteries. So that was, that's pretty good. We didn't use very much power at night. Um, <clears throat> we actually have um, a temperature controlled bed. So that means you don't need to use air conditioning at night, which saves a lot of power. We're saving probably, we're using 75%, 80% less power by doing just that one thing that makes a big difference.